Cloud technology transforms how we run our businesses today, and VPS-based systems are at the heart. But what's a VPS without an efficient control panel? Together, let's explore how to deploy a Cloud Panel on your VPS and simplify your everyday server management tasks. Hostinger provides VPS hosting services that utilize kernel-based virtualization machine, or KVM for short, ensuring superior performance and rock-solid stability. In short, you'll have a private space for your website alone, even when sharing a server with others. You'll get full root access, giving you complete control over your server environment. This type of access allows you to personalize and configure the server according to your specific needs. But the real jewel is that Hostinger further enriches the VPS experience with pre-configured templates and popular VPS control panels. These panels include such features as server monitoring and management and research usage statistics. One example is Cloud Panel, a web-based control panel that lets users manage their cloud servers efficiently and hassle-free. In this video, we'll walk you through how to deploy Cloud Panel on VPS hosting. To get started, the first thing you need to do is purchase a VPS hosting plan. Head to Hostinger.com, click the hosting menu and select VPS. Click choose your plan to grab a VPS hosting plan that best aligns with your website's requirements. Our VPS plans vary in server hardware resources, but they all come with the essential features, including snapshot and root access support. I'll opt for the KVM2 plan, a popular choice for small to medium sized websites. Oh, and the good news is as your site grows and attracts more traffic, you can easily upgrade your plan using HPanel. Go ahead and click add to cart. Choose the 12 or 24 month subscription plan over the monthly option for extra savings. Continue with the checkout process by creating a Hostinger account, or you can use your email or login with your Google or Facebook account. Scroll down to select your preferred payment method, and before finalizing your order, apply the coupon code VPS10 for an additional 10% discount. Once your payment is confirmed, log into your account. Click Start Now to begin setting up your VPS. In this step, you'll get to choose the location for your VPS. Pick a server location closer to your target audience, as this will ensure lightning fast site performance. OK, let's continue to the next step. Hosting your VPS plans most compatibility with a wide range of popular operating systems, including Alma Linux, Ubuntu, and Debian. Hostinger offers templates with pre-installed control panels for a more straightforward installation process. For this setup, I'll go with OS with control panel to streamline configuration and server management. There, select the operating system template. These templates are game-changing, allowing you to modify your server's operating system and install applications with a single click. For this tutorial, I'll use Ubuntu with Cloud Panel. Click Continue to proceed. While this step is optional, it's an excellent chance to enhance your server's performance by installing additional features. For example, I highly recommend installing the Monarch Smallware Scanner to protect your VPS from potential online threats. This malware scanner closely monitors your VPS files and provides statistics in the VPS dashboard. For further security guarantees, adopt a robust and complex password using lowercase and uppercase letters, numbers, and symbols. Click Continue when you're happy with your password. On the next page, you must create a secure root password. Then, add your secure shell protocol key, also known as SSH, in this section. Although it's an optional step, these SSH key pairs eliminate the need for manual password authentication, ensuring a quicker and more secure server login process. If you're not ready to dive into that now, you can skip this step and add the SSH keys later via HPanel. Once you've installed the template, run the bash script via SSH to configure your web server. While you can use an SSH client like PuTTY, I recommend utilizing the browser terminal in HPanel for better accessibility. This control panel offers an exhaustive list of insights into your hosting plan, from CPU to bandwidth usage, neatly displayed within the VPS overview section. You can also manage your VPS using various features available in the sidebar. One standout feature worth noting here is the AI Assistant. Managing virtual servers may seem complex to some, but we've got you covered thanks to our built-in AI Assistant for VPS hosting plans. Hosting your VPS AI Assistant lets you effortlessly generate Linux commands for server management. For example, you can ask the AI Assistant for a guide to optimize your server using prompts like, how can I reduce VPS load during traffic spikes? The AI will provide clear instructions for you to follow. 
You only need your favorite web browser to access the Cloud Panel interface. Simply type in your server's IP address followed by colon 8443 in your web browser's address bar. It's important to note that you might encounter an SSL certificate error. The exact phrasing of this page can vary depending on your web browser. Click Advanced and follow it up by hitting the link that says Proceed To. On the next page, you'll see the login display. Enter your details here as shown on HPanel, and you'll be redirected to the Cloud Panel dashboard. The first thing you'll see is a set of different metrics. These will provide valuable insights into your web server's load, helping you stay in the know about your service performance. You can also easily add your own websites, create free SSL certificates, and install a variety of CMS with just a single click. If you are interested in installing WordPress on DPS, we have a detailed step-by-step -step tutorial on that topic. You can find the link for it in the description below. With Cloud Panel ready to roll, you're on your way to optimizing your VPS management process. If you have any questions or want to share your experience working with Cloud Panel, we'd love to hear from you, so feel free to drop a comment below. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, remember to hit that subscribe button for more tech-related insights and tutorials. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.